Hey folks, we got another Frank's Technical Service Bulletins. You automotive people will know what that means. Um, <laughs> we got a, a Taito mini cabinet that somebody built into a Frogger. I see it used to be a Colony 7. Yes. And what we, we talked about this before with the Geo 7 13 inch monitors. When you rebuild them and you put the new flyback in, the picture will be shrunken down. This one's actually a little bit small because we didn't even work on this one yet. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what this looks like first. Then we're going to rebuild it. Then I'm going to show you what the picture looks like before we make the modification to stretch the picture back out. Now I notice you got bars in the picture some here. Bars, and we got some curl on the right curl. side. Curl. How, how bad is the curl? Bad oh. enough. It's droopy. Actually, it's not even a curl. It goes up. It goes up at yeah, wave and down. That's a sign of leaky caps. Frank, is yes. it just is it just one capacitor we have to change? Let's change the one that's bad. And yeah, then just you can the do one. the other one in two, And then three we can weeks. do the other one. And right. then there's what, about 20 some caps in there so over the course of 20, yeah. 30 weeks you'll have them all done. Then you we'll take it back out and do the flyback. Frank is having fun. You have to change all the caps. I've seen people say, oh, just change the cap that's bad. No. So, no, no, you do them all at the same time. It doesn't take that long. Frank, actually, let's watch you this while you do it. reminds me of the time that you said you were going to wait to change your oil until your engine blew up. I won't go to the doctors to check to see if I have cancer. I'll wait until it's stage three and I've only got about two weeks to live. Then I'll go check it. Stage four, Frank. Now we'll show okay. it to you on the bench. Now let's look at this chassis. All right, so now we have it on the bench. Um, this is a 13 inch. And you can identify it by GO7 FBO is the 13 inch model number. The 19 inch is the GO7 CBO. But suppose the label's gone. You don't know how to identify it. You're not sure what you have. It's really simple. There's three telltale ways. First one is a 13 inch does not have a B plus pot, which would be right here. Here it is on the 19. The second way is the neck board. On the 19 inch, the, uh, the tube socket is angled. See how it points to a corner? And on the 13 inch, it points to the side. It's more hard, um, parallel to the side of the board. The last one is these blue caps here. This one has five of them, these big blue ones here. The 13 inch only has three. But we're going to be adding two more because when you see after we rebuild it and put it back together, this picture is going to be too small. That will widen it back up again. So now the chassis is back in, and all I had to do is just turn up the brightness a little bit. And you can see the picture is straight. It's nice and bright. It needs some more tweak into the colors, but you can see it's shrunken down. And that's because we've got to put those extra caps into the flyback circuit, which we'll show you that in a minute, as soon as I finish this video. Okay, so now those two extra caps are put into the circuit. These are just out of another chassis. So remember what I said about identifying the 13 inch from the 19 inch if these two caps are missing, but if somebody already did this modification, like I said, you can always tell by the absence of the B plus pot. But while we're here, as you can see, we have a new flyback in. This is the old one. Uh, may have been changed at some point in time. Um, even though it worked, we gotta, you gotta change it. It's like changing your oil or going to the doctors and get a checkup. Just because it ain't broke don't mean that you don't want to change it out because it's going to fail eventually. But look at these caps you these pulled out. These are two out. caps. One of them, the lead broke off. I didn't even have to take it out of the board. Untied it to the one side and the whole thing just fell out. And this was a chassis that somebody did change some of the caps. But it's on the bench. The parts are available. They're cheap. You just do it. There's no reason to not do it. Every single and cap. And I see you also changed this. Uh, yeah, well, these are coil. usually broken off. you got to change that as well. You have to put in here your 68 ohm. Um, resistor in here on the vertical. Your big fat circuit. hand is in the way. <laughs> now you know what I go it's through. Still covered. Oh gosh. How am I going to show people this, young yeah, man? Yeah, you'll figure it out. I also out noticed that you've taken the original small cap out of here. Yeah, it's part of the sink mod. Right, and you moved it. You, it this was yeah, that was over a here. Guy. You moved it over. Yeah, it's in the instruction sheet if you order the cap kit. That's you just want to remember that the positive side goes to the collector of transistor 305. The original cap was not polarized, so just remember, points out. The positive side points out. Good. Other than that, she should be Oh, and to also, go. we should point out the only cap that's marked wrong on the chassis is this one. It's correct on this side. The yeah, plus this terminal is solder correct. solder side is marked wrong. But this side, the plus terminal's on the other side. 
So that's the only cap where they made a mistake on the silk screening and it was never corrected. Now one other note, the 19 inch uses two 3.3 50 volt bipolar caps here. The, um, the, the 13 inch uses a 1 at 50 and this other cap here is a 10 at 250 which is polarized and if you look at the chassis it is marked even though the 19 inch will have a polarity marking it's a bipolar in the 19 inch but a polarized cap somebody said uh, by the way that you were bipolar no, no you are bisexual and now those extra caps are in you can see how much bigger the picture is uh, it still needs some color adjustments and positioning, but we're going to let it burn in for a few hours first and then we'll make any final adjustments before it goes out the door. A beautiful picture, Franklin. Gotta love it. Yes. That's how we roll. Good night. We're done here!